It's been one year to the day that President Stephen Leith stood in front of a packed Stevens Auditorium during his installation ceremony. I'm delighted to be with you today to celebrate what is a great occasion for Iowa State University. Since then, the university has achieved some key goals, and today President Leith highlighted those accomplishments in his annual address. Welcome to everyone that's come today. Welcome to the 33,000 plus students that are on our campus now, and welcome to the start of a new academic year. Starting with record enrollment. I really think they're coming for one reason. It's our faculty and staff. They, they are great. They're coming for those chances to interact with our great faculty and staff, participate in our educational programs and our other facilities on campus. It's a beautiful campus, there's no doubt about it. But it's the people here that make a difference, that make people want to come here. And generous donor support. Last year alone they provided $113 million in support to this university, the largest amount ever contributed in a non-campaign year. And over $50 million of that was contributed for the Moving Students Forward uh, initiative. We promised the regents, the legislature, and the governor, we try and raise $150 million in new student support in a five-year period. And so we're well, well on our way. And it didn't take long before he shared his goals for the upcoming year. From academic excellence... We must continue to develop and deliver academic excellence to our students. And I mean that both inside and outside the classroom. Everybody in this room, every faculty and staff member here, ought to be focusing on our graduate's degrees being worth more every year going forward. In order to be successful as an institution, we've really got to focus on this total educational experience, this Iowa State brand that Tom Hill often refers to, on helping students get the most out of their Iowa State experience. To the student experience. We're one of the first universities to have learning communities. We're an early adopter of service learning, and today we're one of the best. And our Students are successful because they get a treasure trove of on-the-job type experiences here. And he discussed Iowa State's research mission. I'm actually very optimistic about the future of research. The response to give us, our, give us an opportunity to grow our graduate student body, grow our research efforts, and better serve Iowa was not lost because of one blip in the federal year. And in fact, the faculty rose up, they recalibrated, they retooled, and private sector support for research at Iowa State was up over 13% in one year. I was really excited to see that. It's that kind of get it done, roll up your sleeves type, no excuses attitude that's going to keep pushing us forward. And President Leith made it clear that Iowa State will continue to focus on serving the state of Iowa. Iowa State have a tangible, serious, important role in promoting economic development in the state, I think is the right thing to do. Our efforts in these areas in economic development are essential to the long-term economic success of the state. And one big way Iowa State will make a difference. We're fortunate that we received 20 or $12 million from the state to build a central core facility on the research park for our economic development efforts. I think you'll see this effort in the park pay off. You're not only going to see it pay off in economic development on how we engage our partners throughout Iowa and beyond, but you're all going to see a park that can grow from the 1,200 employees it has now to a 5,000 employee robust economic center for central Iowa. And President Leith is confident Iowa State will achieve even greater success in the coming year. There's nothing wrong with setting high goals. Our stakeholders expect excellence from Iowa State and I'm confident working together, we're capable of delivering excess, excellence and exceeding expectations. Every day we get up, you have the opportunity to go an extra mile. So I want to encourage you to keep going the extra mile. Alex Murphy, Iowa State University News Service.